But we talked to him about having a brotherhood and relationship with each other. And I think we're really developing that. Um, and it was interesting to see a, a guy called me this morning. And I respect him. Uh, he's, he's, he's a high school coach, but I respect him because he follows us. And he's respected in his profession. Uh, and he just said, man, it, it seems like your team is really developing a bond amongst each other. And that meant a lot to me because those are the things that we always talk about. Not that our guys were selfish in any way, but you start to see them play for one another, have a passion for playing for one another. And it's so tough nowadays to have that with young guys because everything is individually based on, uh, you know, being the best players. And you always had best players coming out of high school, but just it seems like now everybody has one foot out the door to be a professional player, whether you're that or not. I would imagine all 15 guys on our team think they can be a pro. So. And it's just now you're trying to challenge that to make these guys understand the importance of being a team and being a family. And I think they've done a really good job of that, of really hanging out with each other off the court. And that's always been important for me as a coach to make sure your guys have that bond on and off the court because I think it shows when you get in tough times and tough situations in games. But the other thing we talk about is the perseverance of a team. you got to go through something. I, I say it all the time, guys, you got to go through something in order to get to something. And it's very important. Uh, those tough losses, they happen for a reason. So now when those things present themselves again, you've been there before. And, and like last night's game, even the Alabama game, and last night in particular, Jordan McCray and Josh Richardson saying, we got this game, we've been here before. We've been here before, guys, we know what to do. And luckily we got this stop, uh, even though we didn't do a great job boxing out the end. But, <laughs> you know, but we got the stop. But that was the approach going out of that timeout, you know. But you got to make those free throws. Jordan McCray missed free throws last night, uncharacteristic. And in the game before Alabama, Trey Golden missing. That's uncharacteristic. But things happen. And but to their credit, they found a way to sit down and get stops and get the win. Uh, but you also got to continue to grow as players and as young men. It's very important. The growth of a young man every day, on and off the court, to be the best you can be in the classroom, to be the best person you can possibly become, which is not an easy thing to do. Um, because now there's a certain way you have to act, a certain way you present yourself. We, we, I, I see some of our guys, I don't want to say any names, but I see as they grow, the, the minutes grow, and all of a sudden they, they change somewhat. They become individuals, and they kind of lose sight of who they were before. Then all of a sudden they have struggles to bring them back down. And that's the hardest thing to do. Because uh, the greatest thing about being at the University of Tennessee, tremendous fan support. I'm not saying it because everybody's seen it, but a tremendous fan support. But they can also hurt a lot of young guys that never experienced that before. Because what happens, you sit and all of a sudden you get here. Then when you have struggles, all of a sudden that Twitter account, that Twitter account is not as friendly anymore. And, it's, and it's, it's amazing how it works. And the thing I try to tell our guys, you got to understand, there's a passion with the University of Tennessee. These fans love and they support you. But at the same time, don't allow that to change who you are. You still got to work hard. You still got to put your hard hat on every day. Because you did a certain thing to get to this point. Now you got to continue to grow and develop to take it to another level. And that's a hard thing for a lot of guys to do that haven't had a level of success. Probably every guy on this team has been a start in high school, the best player. But probably one or two guys on this team had the ultimate success as a high school player. You know, McDonald, American, that's had those type of accolades. So they've been exposed to it every day. So they're familiar with that environment. They've been in a city where they were exposed to it as opposed to being in a small town. Now all of a sudden you come to Knoxville, you got. 20,000 plus fans, like, oh man, never seen it before. Because that was the biggest thing with Armani Moore, was a very talented young man. When I talked to his, his high school coach and his AU coach, and the biggest thing his AU coach said is he'll be able to play, he's a talented player, but will he be able to handle the lights? I mean, that's not, not going into Lexington, but being in this environment. It's, and it's an amazing thing that you take for granted sometimes as a coach. And my thing for Monty Moore was really bringing him along slowly. Now you start to see the caliber of player he is. But to allow him to grow as a young man, even it means him, we struggle as a team to not have him out there. But my job as a coach is to put you in the best situation possible so you can shine and not get embarrassed by the lights in the situation. Because sometimes guys will have struggles and struggles and never bounce back. Now I've played with guys that were talented players and all of a sudden a year later weren't the same guy. Because they allowed themselves to get exposed to things that they can't control and it's tough for them. And then the last thing we talk about is, you know, fighting one more round. And I said all the time, and every, everything with me is always a fight, you know, even though I'm not a fighter. So don't, I know I look like one, but I'm not a fighter. But it's always a fight, just a level of toughness, mental toughness, a fight through some, and just the physical and mental toughness of everything you do. And just like I told the guys last night, let's fight one more round. That's what a rivalry is about. You have to fight to the end, even when you feel like giving up. Times are hard. You get to that point where you want the opponent just to knock you out. You ready, ready to just hang it up. 
but you got to fight one more round. And then when you look at it from that standpoint, you're doing it for somebody else, not about you. It's about your teammates. When you sell yourself to the team, you don't have to worry about anything else because your teammates are more important than anything you bring to the table. And that's the thing I try to present as a basketball player when I played the game. The most important thing for me was to make sure I had the level of respect I needed for my teammates. I played with Glenn Robinson, probably one of the best high college players I've ever seen. I wasn't around with Lou. I was sending those guys. I didn't see those guys play. From the time my eyes were watching games, when we were able to have a TV at home, when I started watching games, Glenn Robinson was the best I've ever seen on a college level from a level of toughness, physical, rebounding, scoring, anything you can think of on the floor. He brought it to the table. And as his team, I did everything in my power to make sure he got that ball every time down. And I scored, you know, 17 points one, one year when he was on the team, he scored 30. But the most important thing was he had to get that ball in order for us to have success. And I was fine with that. And I averaged 30 points a game in high school. And I just think as college players, you have to do everything in your power for the University of Tennessee to win ball games. And the thing I tell our guys, anytime I feel like they're getting off kilter here and there, I always tell them, remember, they didn't come to see you play. They came to see Tennessee. Make sure you know and understand that. They came to see Tennessee basketball, not you play.